So, I'm happy with where I am. Now, what have I learned during my time, my, my little journey through social media and uh, through personal brand? As I said, this isn't a game. And I, for one, really, uh, I, was, I was kind of torn about the notion of even talking about uh, personal brand because personal brand right away, it sounds like a marketing concept and it sounds like something where I can separate myself from my brand and my brand is a contrivance. I really don't think that's possible because ultimately, my brand is about me. There's only one of me and I have to make a conscious decision about what I want to say, what I want to do. Not a contrived decision. There's, there's ultimately, authenticity will be seen. Uh, duplicitousness, duplicitousness will be seen through. So I need to be conscious, which is not a bad thing, but definitely not contrived, which would be an artificial and bad thing. What else have I learned then? But more than anything else, it's about thinking about every day, who the heck am I really? How am I going through life? How do I feel others perceive me? And recognizing that that may well be the reality. What I see in the mirror, what other people see in the mirror, is what I am. So we need to make conscious decisions every day, just as we're going through life. And to go back to why I started the story when I was a 15-year-old uh, young liberal and then got involved in politics and had journalists writing bad things about me, at the end of the day, the fault was all on me that they wrote bad things about me. They may have been conservatives, they may have been writing for Conrad Black, they may have been doing, had other motivations, but I had failed in really communicating to them that I was the good person, the positive person, the altruistic, the public-spirited person that I saw myself as being. So, some self-awareness is important, and we need to ask ourselves the questions. They're simple questions. What do I want to achieve? Who do I want to see in the mirror, and what do I want to share? Now that's really important. Um, and we all need to make decisions about what we want to share at the outset, in the same way as we need to make decisions about the kind of person that we want to be seen. Lies will be found out, so forget about being a persona. Forget about being the professional person who's different from the private person. There is only one you. The judgment that you exercise in your personal life will be, uh, will reflect upon the judgment that you exercise in your, in your public life. That's my belief. So just be honest and don't live a lie. Don't construct something that doesn't exist. And here's the toughest thing, which I think applies to us in the same way as we would all say it applies to a corporation. It's not about the words. In fact, it's the actions that count louder. And in fact, I find myself frequently being called to account on social media and people say, you aren't as good, as positive, or as right-minded as you think you are. In fact, you're full of it, and here's why. And if I don't listen to that and then accept that sometimes those people will be right, not always, but sometimes they'll be right, and go at it with an open mind, and if I'm not prepared to change the way that I am, I will ultimately, I will ultimately be a lesser person. And to me, that's really important in being seen as the kind of person that you would all want to have a beer with later on. Telling you the story about my liberal beginning, even though nobody else in the room knew about that, um, is a statement of personal vulnerability. And I really think that along with some of the other attributes, about, along with the reliability, uh, along with the transparency, we have to be willing to make ourselves vulnerable. If we live in a society where we're worried about the trolls and we're worried about the outriders and we're worried about the worst case, and then if we get ourselves all constipated and can't, and can't give a genuine emotion or genuine anxiety, we're nowhere. And our brand won't come across or our personality won't come across as authentic. It won't come across as admirable. So one of the things I've learned is to be vulnerable uh, from time to time, to admit when I have uncertainties. But if I share my passions, if I talk about the things that I really care about, if I don't talk about the things that I realize I don't really know anything about, I'll do, I'll do really quite fine. One small thing that is a big thing for me, draft is my friend. The number of times I've been sitting there in the evening, having read a whole lot of stuff, banged out something, and then 
stuck it in drafts so that I could sleep over it, sleep on it overnight, and then look at it in the light of day. That's not fake, that's not contrived, that's just me actually making sure that I know what I'm saying at all times and that I take stewardship, proper stewardship, of my own actions. Sarcasm and sniping. I remember, you know, I got involved in 2004 with my, with, with my first blog and I remember we used to have discussions because uh, around the office about, well, you know, social media should be edgy. Well, too often, uh, when I follow the Twitter stream, I just realize I'm going to stop interacting with certain people because they think that sarcasm and sniping and slightly pointed words are cool, and they're not. The reality is, I think in real life, and in terms of um, presenting oneself, they're the refuge of the unimaginative. They are the place that the dull go, so as not to be seen as dull. And I never want to put myself there. That may sound like a terribly pretentious thing to say, but why not? Why not adopt a stance of just being kind and honest and gentle and helpful to everybody? It's not going to hurt. It may mean that sometimes somebody says something and you don't have a quick comeback. There are worse things than silence. Don't feed the trolls and never respond to the anonymous comments. Unless, unless, the anonymous are telling me truth. And that goes back to my earlier point. An important part, I think, for all of us is that we have to be open to the fact that we may be wrong and that we should change our views and we should change our action. Because ultimately, Trust is a currency. It's earned through transparency, authenticity, reliability, and generosity. A culture of generosity. Ultimately, if every person had at bottom the fact that in, at, at the bottom of their, their motivation that they wanted to give and that they weren't going to keep a tally sheet of who got the most out of something, but they were just going to give as best they could, and then celebrate when they got something back, we'd all be a lot happier. And we'd all be able to look in the mirror and say to ourselves, that's pretty darn good, because we'd be becoming the person that we want to see. And that's my little journey in social media, and if there is such a thing as personal brand, that's the kind of credo that I live by. I just want to become the person that I want you to see and that I want myself to see.